all right so uh, this is going to be a demonstration or you can say it this is just to make you guys understand that how computer based test would be for your exam right so uh, i just th like i'm just considering that most of you are giving this exam for the first time and since csir has switched from offline mode to the online mode that is to the computer based mode so what i'm going to do i'm just going to explain you in this video that how you will feel like what what will be the interface the probable interface and how you have to uh, uh, like what what are the things that you are going to deal with in the exam right so i'll be giving you link in the description you just have to click on that link and you will be taken to this particular site you can also give this mock test of your own so i'm just providing that link so that you guys also can do the same so just follow up over here so by clicking on the link given the description you will be taken to this page where you can just click over here in the sign up button you just have to fill up your details like first name last name email mobile number and password so once you fill, fill all these things and you press register you will be given with a otp in on your mobile phone you just have to fill that and uh, once it is done you will be registered on this nta website okay so once you are registered you just have to fill your email id and your password in order to log into it okay so once you have filled up all the things and once you have registered to the site you will be again taken back to this page where you have to log in in order to uh, proceed right so over here you just have to fill your email id and the registered email id or the mobile number and the password okay so let me just do that and then we'll just log in to see what we'll get so once you are logged in you will be uh, taken to, to this particular page you just have to go uh, over here on the mock test okay on this site you just have to click on this mock test and then you will be taken to this particular page where you just have to select the exam which you for which you want to appear okay so since we are interested in csir net so i'm just selecting csir then the paper that means the subject you have to select so i'm selecting chemical sciences now just start mock test so you'll be taken to this particular page now this is how you will feel in the exam okay from here your actual exam experience is going to be uh, given to you okay so over here you can see on the screen this is the like uh, once you will be in the examination the system will be similar to this and over here your name will be uh, like you will be getting your name over here the subject for which you have filled that is chemical science will be written over here your image or the photo which you have uploaded while filling the form will be available over here and this will be the system name on which you will be sitting in your examination center okay so whatever examination center you have you will be having a definite system name and that system name will be given over here so that doesn't matter okay username and password will be provided to you by the invigilator over there so in the examination hall you will be provided with a username and password by the invigilator so don't worry about that you just have to for the mock test you don't have to fill username and password you just have to log in but in exam you have to fill username and password and that your invigilator will let you know that what is the username and the password okay so we'll just log in over here so once you will log in you will see all the instructions over here the general instructions so this is all given that what is the total time of the exam so it's it's like this is just for the mock test so don't worry about it the exam is not one to, uh, like of 120 minutes it is going to be of 180 minutes it will be of three hours so don't worry about it don't think that this is just a two hour exam no it is of three three hours it's just the mock test and it is just randomly designed so that's a few things are wrong in it okay so don't worry about that but rest of the infra uh, like interface and other things are same so yeah next uh, you will be having like all the details like how you have to fill and what are the things which you will get are written over here in this page so i'll not read this up uh, just to just to save some of your time i'll just explain while while explaining you in the further video okay so you just have to click over here i have read all and understood all the uh, instructions and just proceed so now you are taken to the page examination like the question paper okay so you have you now you have just uh, jump to the question paper now this is question number one although there is a bug in the software so you will not you are not getting any question written over here but you are getting the options and you are getting the other things okay so question is not over here so don't think that in exam also you will not get any question you will get question but uh, yeah and you can also scroll up and down through these buttons like this arrow up and arrow down arrow down one two three four are the options for that particular question now uh, the color code which you have to understand again the same thing uh, name will be written over here subject will be written over here time will run uh, as three hours so it will be like uh, three hour exam okay not two hour exam so just keep that in mind so those who have filled exam for english uh, like medium they will be getting paper in english those who have filled in hindi they will be getting in hindi and english both okay so don't worry about that yeah so how to answer that particular question let's say this is question number one 
and whatever the question is although the, uh, due to the bug question is not available on the side on the screen so let's say our option number two is the correct option which we think okay so i'm just selecting option number two as the correct option and now i am just i want to save this answer i am just sure about this answer that yes this is my correct answer so i'll just press save and next now i have taken to the question number two okay and you can see question number one is now green in color green in color means that question is answered so that means i have successfully answered one question and over here it's given that 119 questions i have not visited so there are out 200 uh, like sorry 120 questions and see over here one more thing is there that these uh, in this panel questions are not uh, dis uh, like divided in the parts okay like part a part b and part c but in examination i am quite sure that it will be divided like that part a part b and part c although in the mock test they have not done it so but yeah in the actual exam i am just hoping that they will uh, like divide this otherwise it will be very difficult for a student to decide the the part okay or because he has to do choices right out of 20 he has to do 15 and all so yeah definitely that will be going to be like that so you will be having three parts part a part b and part c over here where you can just hover around the questions over here okay so yeah let's say this is the question number two which is not visible obviously due to the bug i just told you that that there is a bug in the software so that's why questions are not being uh, uh, like displayed so let's say i'm i'm like quite sure that question answer number three option number three is the correct one but i want to review this question later because i am just thinking that okay later on i'll just review this again so i'll just save and mark for review okay so see this is the code this is answered this question will be answered like this question is answered already but it is marked uh, for review and uh, like whenever i'll feel like after after uh, re like after watching all the other questions if i feel like to come back to that question i can just quickly come back to that particular question okay so that's what this particular color code means and let me make uh, let me make one thing very clear over here that in case you submit your question or in case time is up okay your time is filled uh, like time is over and uh, you are you have just marked it for review okay you have answered and marked it for review then that question will be considered for evaluation as it is given over here that answered and marked for review and it's given in the bracket that will be considered for evaluation so this question will be evaluated that means this question will be checked whatever option you have selected that will be automatically taken as the as your choice and that will be taken as the uh, like that will be uh, like checked according to like that will be checked uh, during the uh, during the evaluation process all right so this these are the two codes which we have just got to know one is when you are sure about answer save and next when we are sure quite sure but you just want to review the question again so save and mark for review okay now let's say this is question number three and i am not sure that what will be the answer but i think that i will be able to do this question later so i'll just mark for review okay so i'll just click over here mark for review and next now uh, this question over here will be blue in the sign will be blue that means this is marked for review there is no option marked in this question i have not marked any answer i have not marked any answer but yeah i want to review this question once again that means after feeling like after watching all the other questions i'll just come back to this question just to check once again that whether i am able to solve this or not this generally happens with the physical chemistry question when you are doing some question some calculation and you are not getting the correct answer so in that case you can do this thing okay all right so now uh, let's say this is the question number four and i don't want to do anything with this okay i i don't want to do anything with that i don't know anything about it i, I even don't have any idea about this question so i don't want to mark it for review i cannot answer this question i don't want to like review or anything right so i'll simply switch to the next okay so from here also i can go to the next question or from the panel also I can go to the fifth question so it's better to go to the next question from here so once i go over here this is red color mark that means this question is not answered so this is not answered question this is marked for review so up till now how many answers i have given i have just answered two questions okay out of four this is not answered question first one is answered second one is answered but i can review it later okay that is just for me but for the uh, for the examiner these two will be considered as the answered questions and these two will be not answered ones or not answered ones okay let's say i have just uh, i'll just go to the second question back so this is the second question i have marked third option but now again i have solved this question and i got that no answer three is not correct answer two was the correct one so i can change my answer just by clearing the response so once i'll click over here my response is cleared now i can just click on two 
now i'm quite sure about it so now i can click save and next so that will be done so second answer is again answered and that is saved and next okay so that's pretty much sure uh, that's pretty much easy you just have to um, if you are sure about a question just click on the option and just save and next if you are quite sure about that question if you are quite sure about that question but uh, you just want to review it again so just uh, mark that option and mark for review and next okay save and mark for review save and mark means that answer will be saved and it will be marked for review so remember this if you want to save that answer and mark and review it later so for that you have to click save and mark for review and if you don't have any idea about the question you just want to come back to that question later for that it is marked for review okay so that is what it is so you can just hover around all the questions over here in this panel on the panel on the on the right hand side these are all the question let's say i just quickly want to go to question number 100 okay so i can just go to the question number 100 directly i can just answer it over here so you can do all of these things uh, you can just go to the mock test and you can check that how these things are being done although in the examination uh, center this time uh, you are uh, yeah, you are requested to come early right so you will be demonstrated with all these things in detail over there so don't worry about it i just wanted to give a brief intro of these things because uh, don't like many of the students are getting panic right so just to make sure just to calm your downs just to calm your nerves I have just given all the introduction of these things so that you don't feel anything new when you reach the examination center all right so after after let's say you have done all the questions like up to 120 i cannot obviously do all of them right now it will just take your time but yeah let's say all of these questions you have just seen all these questions and you have like you just want to go like you you have done the question paper okay you have done you don't want to do anything so you want to submit now okay or so what you can do you can just click over here on submit so once you click over here on submit they will say that are you sure you want to submit for the final marking and you can press yes if you want to submit and you can press no if you don't want to submit okay so see there everything is given to you that total number of questions were 120 you have answered just two two of them and you have not answered 15 of them you have uh, kept one as marked for review and you have answered one question and you have kept that for review okay and that will be considered as evaluation question so that is also given over here and total one on one questions you have not visited so all the data will be given to you at the end so that will just summarize your paper okay so for now i'm just pressing no so again you can just come back and you can do whatever uh, changes you want to make so this is the benefit of online exam that uh, you can make changes to your options whenever you feel like if you think that okay i have made mistake in the last question i, I want to change my answer that also you can do you, you can review the questions and all but one more thing the demerit is that uh, once you will get to see just one question on the screen so you have to click a lot many times to reach to different questions and that is going to be take like that is going to take some extra time of yours and this is one of the demerit which i think for this particular exam is okay so yeah so let me just end up this so i'll just submit over here now i'll just click over here that yes i want to submit so yeah thank you for your responses uh, we will be submitting for final marking click ok to complete final submission so that is all going to happen in the in your final exam as well so just press ok and view your result so see they have given the result all actually the question were there but it was not visible because of the bug and all so they have answered also but in the actual exam the answers will not be given so early you have to wait for 15 days to get the answers okay so that's what i just wanted to tell you in this particular video just to make sure just to give you an idea about this that how this particular online cbt mode is going to be all right so you can check it out from the link given to you in the description and thank you so much for watching this particular video i hope this was helpful to you if you guys have any doubts if you have any questions to ask regarding the cbt mode or anything related to it you can ask me that in the comment section and at this particular point i'll just end up this video thank you so much for watching and if you are new to this channel do subscribe to this channel if you like this video do give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next video till then have a great day Bye bye